Good morning sailors. We just completed a 85 nautical mile passage from Beaufort, North Carolina to Wrightsville Beach, North Carolina. Um, the rum line is only about 65 miles, but we had to uh, slow down. So just we're moving too fast. So we threw a couple of tacks in, added some distance so that we would arrive just at sunrise, which is how it worked out. So, no dinosaurs killed in this passage. The Sail to the Sun rally crew has arrived at the Anchorage Banks Channel. It's gotten a little bit more crowded. That's okay, they're all good folks. What would you pay to have that in your front yard every night? Ahoy sailors. So we've been here at Sea Path Yacht Club in Wrightsville Beach for about eight days. As you know, we had to go back to Annapolis for a week, do a little bit of work. And then uh, yesterday we had a sea trial and survey for a, a buyer um, that we were representing up in New Bern on a Passport 40, which was a fun day. But now it's time to get back aboard Sea Sprite and get moving south. Unfortunately, there's a very strong cold front headed our way this evening. So we're currently in Wrightsville Beach. We are going to kill a dinosaur and use the ICW to move over to Southport where we'll take a slip again tonight so that we can be secure while the front moves through. And then on the backside of that front, we plan to exit the Cape Fear Inlet at Southport and sail about 24 hours to Charleston. So that's the quick update. And you probably won't see much uh, video from uh, our passage from Beaufort to Wrightsville Beach because it was mostly during the hours of darkness, so I didn't take too much video. I'll try to do a better job on the coming passage from Southport to Charleston. Underway. So finally departing Wrightsville Beach, heading to Southport. It's pretty gloomy out there. Doing. We're fighting current though. We're coming up on Snow's Cut in Carolina Beach and the current is opposing us right now with the engine pretty much wide open throttle and we're going three and a half knots. That's all going to change when we get to Cape Fear River though. It's going to be behind us so it'll be all good. Carolina Beach behind me. We're entering Snow's Cut. We still have a wicked current opposing us, but uh, it'll be all over soon. Okay, so we're docked up at Bald Head Island Marina. It's quite a beautiful place. And there is Mojo's behind me, and we're gonna go there and get our mojo on before the storm hits. And it looks like it's about an hour away. Forecast for the following coastal waters from Cape Fear, North Carolina to Little River Inlet, South Carolina, out 20 nautical miles. Issued at 7.39 a.m. Gale warning in effect until 4 p.m. this afternoon. Today, north winds 25 to 30 knots with gusts up to 40 knots, becoming northeast 15 to 20 knots with gusts up to 25 knots. Seas 5 to 8 feet, subsiding to 4 to 6 feet this afternoon. Tonight, 
Northeast winds 15 to 20 knots with gusts up to 25 knots. Seas 4 to 5 feet. A slight chance of rain after midnight. Thursday, northeast winds 15 to 20 knots with gusts up to 25 knots. Seas 4 to 5 feet. Ahoy sailors. Well, we're here at Bald Head Island and uh, we're going to head offshore and head for Charleston. Um, going to have pretty strong winds here to start with. There's still a gale warning in effect, although the winds dropped down at low, well, mid to low 20s, still gusting up to high 20s, low 30s. Should be pretty much a downwind run. It's cold as can be. It's like in the mid 30s. So we're going to do our Eric the Crazy Viking Sailor imitation today. Um, see how that goes. Hopefully we'll get to Charleston, no issues. We've got a couple of bailout points if we have to. We can always pull in Little River Inlet. We go down to Winya Bay, Georgetown. Uh, but we're anticipating a, uh, a fast, chilly passage offshore to Charleston. And I can guarantee you, you're gonna need to hold fast for this passage. Okay, are we having fun yet? Are we having fun? No? I'm a little cold. A little cold? Yeah, so we've been underway for, I don't know, an hour and a half. Having a good time. Wind's right behind us, though. It's always challenging. Got two other boats out here with us. Harvest Moon and uh, Hellcat Maggie. Everybody heading to Charleston. So far, it's been okay. As long as we keep going downwind. A little, little bit of uh, swell behind us. That's cool. Hey everybody, I don't know if you can even see me, it's kind of dark down here. It's about uh, 2.30 in the morning. Um, we've had a pretty sporty little sail down here today. Um, currently we are making about five knots running dead downwind under bare poles. A little bit unexpected this uh, wind picking up again um, after it was forecast to drop off but the good news is we're headed right for our destination so assuming that uh, the weather gods don't frown on us any further we will be okay pull into Charleston sometime in the morning it's definitely been <laughs> A passage where one has had to hold fast. Okay, it's about, I don't know, 9.30 in the morning. We're about 10 miles from the entrance to Charleston Harbor Channel. Got some crazy wind. You know, as I said, we were uh, from 2 a.m. to about 6.30, we were sailing under bare poles, doing about five knots. Now we've got a little bit of the jib out doing six. Um, it's crazy. Post crazy passage reward <laughs> brought to us by a friend in Charleston. 
strawberry shortcake, and I don't know what the other ones are. Chocolate something. Chocolate something. 